So let's talk about the crate and why I was wrong about the crate. Now, before we get started, I'm drinking a Portugal red blend and I think it's called Goru, uh, G-O-R-U. Now, I, I was wrong about the crate. I've actually never crate trained a dog until my current dog. Uh, I just never, I always did a baby gate confinement method. I never really wanted to do the crate. I felt the way a lot of you guys felt back then. This is all before I was a dog trainer, but I felt the same way a lot of you guys feel when you feel like it, you felt it was mean. You didn't want them to be in such a uh, small confined area. I felt the same way if I'm honest. And I, so I really struggled with my previous dogs to crate train them. And instead I always did do confinement, but I just did a baby gated area. Now here's why I was wrong because I'm crate training my current dog. And here's one, the number one to prevent potty accidents, chewing and unwanted behaviors. That of course is the go-to for puppy owners. The crate is so, it's almost imperative to, especially if you have a puppy to do crate training because you do prevent some of those bad behaviors from being practiced, especially house training. But, so this was one thing when my dog came into our home, that was the first reason we crate trained her. We didn't know how house trained she was, so we utilized the crate when we weren't here, so we knew um, that she couldn't have accents in the house. So number one, prevent bad behaviors. But number two, you never know when you need it. So my dog is heartworm positive, we adopted her from animal control knowing she was heartworm positive and after she got her first injection and now she just recently got her last two injections she has to stay very calm and she can't get the zoomies and she can't play with toys and get all hyped up so we've been utilizing the crate and giving her like yummy chew things and deer antlers and himalayan chews and all kinds of delicious things that she can eat and chew on in the crate to kind of get her energy out so she's not running around. So you never know when your dog isn't feeling well, if something hurt themselves or whatever, and they need to be calm and confined. The crate is so great for that. So you never know when you need it. Number three is safe spot for your dog. You know, our dogs are den animals. And if you make the crate a good thing, it really can become such a safe spot for your dog. So here's something else I noticed. I noticed that we get tons of storms in the summertime in Florida, and my dog's not crazy scared of storms at all, but there was a really loud crack of thunder. And you know what she did immediately? She got up and came into the living room and went and got into her crate, snuggled up and went to sleep. The crate really is a safe spot for your dog if you've acclimated them to it and they see it as a good thing. But our dogs are den animals, so it's nice for them to have a safe spot. Another reason I love the crate now, when you travel, if you go to a friend's house, if you go to an Airbnb or a hotel or whatever it may be, bringing the crate along and your dog being able to be comfortable in their crate, like their crate feeling like home, no matter whether it's home or not, like your home, their home, the crate is their kind of home area. So bringing the crate with you when you travel is so game changing for being able to travel easily and comfortably with your pet. The other reason I like it is to establish a routine. So. You know, I think a lot of dogs, especially hyper dogs and young dogs, need a chill out time. So that's the time you put them in the crate for whatever time you designate is, you know, good. So it could be any, it could be 15 minutes, it could be two hours, whatever you want. But that is their chill out time when they go in, again, give them something wonderful so the crate's always a good thing. But now you have that time period to do the dishes, do the laundry, make a phone call, business calls, you know, run errands, whatever you need to do, you know you have that allotted time and they have a time to pull themselves together, have a little chill out, calm down time. And again, it's just further making the crate a good thing because again, they are getting something special in there. And number six, emergencies. So you never know when there's gonna be an emergency. Something goes wrong at your house, something, a bad storm or weather situation, but you never know when there's gonna be an emergency and it's gonna be the easiest and safest thing to have your dog confined. So emergency situations, the crate can be extremely handy for that as well. So let's go over those again. Number one, prevent bad behavior. Number two, it really can be a safe spot for your dog. Number three, it, you never know when you're going to need it. You never know when that crate is going to come in very, very handy. Number four, when you travel. Number five, establish a good routine with your dog. Give them a chill out time. And number six, emergencies. You never know when there's going to be some weird random emergency that the crate is going to come in extremely handy. So I hope those tips help you. I was so wrong about the crate. I will crate train every dog I have from this day forward. So Anyway, again, I hope that helps you. Happy training.
Happy drinking. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. You ready to go get in your crate? Okay, come on, sweetie. Okay, get in your crate. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good girl.